Now back to western Montana where rescue crews are standing by right now in Troy, Montana after a mine cave-in has one miner trapped. It's happening at the Genesis Mine. We don't know much, but we do know a mine rescue team and a rescue helicopter are on the scene. Just south of Troy, Montana, it's about 65 miles east of Sandpoint. We're working to establish a connection with Annie Bishop. We have now have that. Uh, Annie is live on the scene. Annie, uh, what can you tell us at this hour? Well, right now we're standing about four miles from the Genesis Mine, also known as the Troy Mine here. I want to show you this roadblock that has been set up by the Montana State Police. Uh, Montana State Police really only letting anyone who absolutely has to be up at that mine right now and turning away even people uh, that have showed up to work at the mine tonight for the night shift. That mine, the mine has been closed uh, all day. This is what we know. Uh, the operations manager this morning confirming that a rock fall happened about 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, at least one miner has has been trapped in that rock fall. We believe that that miner was driving a truck inside that mine under underground. Uh, a mine spokesperson said earlier today they're not sure if that miner is alive. Uh, as I said before, the mine has been shut down as crews searching and try to rescue this miner throughout the day. Uh, Chuck Reynolds, Shoshone County Sheriff's Office, confirming that the Central Mine Rescue Team out of Wallace uh, was here all day. Uh, we saw a team leave here about a half an hour ago not exactly sure what that indicates or what that means for what's happening about four miles here from us. We were up at the scene about, uh, say, 3, 3.30, and it was a very somber scene. Uh, fire rescue crews out of Troy were on standby waiting um, to see if they actually could help with this rescue. There was also a, a MedStar helicopter there. It had landed on the mine property, doors open and ready to go if it needed to fly out of here quickly. Um, again, we don't have any information on uh, the injuries of that miner. All we know is that he was trapped. We also don't know if there was anyone else down there with him, if there are any other miners that perhaps have any sort of injuries tonight. Now, our only communication right now is with that Montana State Police Trooper that you're looking at right now. Uh, we've requested that we actually speak to perhaps someone with the mine to get some more information about exactly what's going on here right now. Um, perhaps in the, within the next hour, we'll have some more information and of course, we'll keep you updated on this scenario as it unfolds. Reporting live in Troy, Montana, Annie Bishop, KXLY4.